Hello, hi ladies, I'm back. I've got the jitters gone. So I'm excited to be with you today. My name is Andrea, the host of the Classy Lady Squad. The Classy Lady Squad is a community of women impacting women through evaluated experiences. Cultivating and leveling up, ladies. Today, ladies, I would like, if you don't mind, sharing a story, a story time. When I was younger, I was very athletic. I ran track, I played softball, but I was bullied in school and numerous times by numerous people. I let that sum me up. I was scared, I was full of anxiety. My confidence level was shut to pieces and it affected my performance, especially in softball. Track, I was a runner. I, I just, that is what made me feel great, running. Um, I knew that I could always be great at softball, but every time I got up to bat, I struck out. I stepped up to the batter's plate and I could hear this little, that little devil that sits on your shoulder that's saying, yeah, you're gonna strike out. And I stood there and I striked out. And I tried to nudge this shoulder to see if the angel was gonna say anything. I didn't even uh, allow her to tell me anything. So to say the least, I was horrible when I first started. But I decided one day, I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of this. This is not the way my life is supposed to be. I have allowed people to sum me up and make me believe that I was not confident, confident, I wasn't smart, I wasn't ready to do anything. So I decided to go to practice one day and I'm like, I'm gonna knock this ball out of the park. My teammates could not believe that this was Andrea hitting these balls out of the park. I felt great. I, I performed well at all the games, outfield, infield. They wanted to put me everywhere. I started with this story today because we seem to get in our own way when we're trying to be great, when we know that we can be great. We talk ourselves out of things. We tell ourselves we're not confident. We tell ourselves that we're scared. When are you going to get uncomfortable and make a change in your life. We have to make changes in our lives, whether rather it's our friends, our jobs, whatever it might be. We need to make changes, ladies, in order for things to change around you. Sometimes we wait for the world to change. The world's not gonna change. The world's not gonna come rescue you. You have to change in order for things to change. Now, what does that have to do with my topic today, which is the word classy, has everything to do with it. It's being confident and different characteristics. I hope you will allow me to read from my notes and because uh, it's very important that you actually get um, the notion of where I'm going. The first thing I would like to say is how to be a classy lady is a characteristic that every lady should refine, aim to refine. The word classy never goes out of style. It is classic. Now, I know times change and people say, who are you to define classy? Or who, who is someone to define if I'm classy or not? Well, if you're open-minded just to listen, maybe this might be for you and you may get some information to get a different perspective on what you know classy is to be. And if not, it's okay this channel may or may not be for you, and it's okay. But I 
I hope that you would stay tuned and um, the uh, issues and concerns and topics that we talk about may interest you at one point. Other characteristics. Number one, be kind. When encountering someone, be kind and gracious. When a gentleman or someone opens the door for you, say thank you. Give them eye contact. Ladies, you never know when opportunity is around you. You want to be refined and be at your best self at all times. We have to stop some time and think, am I at my best self? Are things changing for me in my life? Are things getting for the better? Am I stagnated? Am I going downhill? You, we have to ask ourselves these things sometimes. Uh, Class C is defined as, here are some words, sophisticated, smart, stylish, respectable, elegant. Classy also refers to someone who puts a high standard on the way she behaves. For example, saying thank you, as I said before, you're welcome, giving eye contact during conversation, to say a few. Number two, read great books, audio, going around people who are of great mindset, positive thinkers, to nurture your mind. Knowing more is growing more and having more. When you have more, you can do more for others. Number three, dress tastefully, well put together, crisp, chic, and sleek. Not saying that you have to dress up every day, but just well put together. Speak well. Intentional on how you articulate your words. Like, for example, yes. Not yeah or yep. No. Not nah or nope. When someone asks, how are you? Say, I'm well, thank you for asking. Number five, stay in your truth. She never has to make up anything, meaning you would have to not make up anything if you stay in your truth. When you make up something, you have to then create another something, which is a lie, to expand on the untruth that you just told. So be careful, ladies. And then you believe the lie that you just told. So it becomes you. You become the lie. Number six, always be gracious. Never act entitled or snobby. Always say please and thank you. Let me say that again. Always be gracious. Never act entitled or snobby. Entitled. I hear that word so much in today's world. People, a classy lady should never want or expect expect someone else to solve their problems for them. She always strives and seek to strive her own problems, meaning being interdependable. Number seven, practice good posture. Classy ladies walk, stand, and sit elegant and gracefully. No dragging or flopping when walking. No slouting when sitting or standing. I hope you're enjoying this. Number eight. Did you guys hear my stomach just now? I don't know what's going on. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Number eight, don't complain or gossip. Say, isn't that interesting and smile? Or say nothing at all. I'm gonna say that again. Don't complain or gossip. A classy lady does not do that. She simply say, isn't that interesting? And smile or say nothing at all when someone is complaining or gossiping. Number nine, do things for others without expecting anything in return. Make others feel special. Always, always, ladies, in my opinion, I had to learn this too, doing things for others, expecting nothing in return. Because sometimes we're like, um, I, I hear people say, or I've said, oh, if, if I do this good thing, oh, God is going to uh, do something good for me. No, be intentional about your giving. Be intentional about your giving expecting nothing in return. Number 10, listen. A classy lady listens much more than she speaks. Be interested, not interesting. I've learned listening. When you listen, a person will give you everything that you need to know about that conversation, about them, about how you can best help solve their problem just by you closing those lips, ladies, and listening. There's a time to speak, but there's the best time always to listen. Number 11, be dignified. A classy lady always manages to control her emotions remaining cool, calm, and collected in any scenario. She responds to the issue, not the person. She does not let her mood affect her manners. That's a good one. Who you show up to be speaks louder than what you say. You don't have to say that you're a classy lady, ladies. Just be a classy lady. Everyone will know you wouldn't have to say it. Matter of fact, if you do say it, you're trying to convince yourself that you're classy and people will see right through that. And that will turn people off. Not that people's opinion about how you're classy is most important, but just be classy. You don't have to say that you're classy. So those are some of the characteristics that I wanted to quickly go over with you today. You know, get, in, get, get uncomfortable, ladies, because being in your comfort zone is sometimes, well, most of the time, sabotaging you. It's sabotaging your relationships. Is sabotaging your business. So be confident in your choices to becoming better, leveling up, knowing more, being open-minded to different cultures, different music. You will be surprised on what you will learn or what you would become. You will become more because you're learning something that you didn't know before. And it will open your mind. It will open doors for you. So, always ladies, know who you are, stay in your truth, and own it. So, if you like this video, if you'll give me a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, comment, and share. So until the next time, until the next video, peace.